Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? It's your boy, The Ghetto Ogver, a.k.a. Pastor Tech, coming back at you with another unboxing video. And today, we're going to be unboxing this puppy right here. This is the Sound Pete's Air 5. And this is the beige color. They send this out to me. This is a brand new product they have. Um, again, the Air 5s, and they send this to me so I can do an unboxing. So I want to thank Sound Pete for sending this to me because I'm a smaller channel, and they didn't have to. So I want to thank you. And they also... Did a couple of things for us viewers. They have also given us a 40% off discount code. I'm going to say that again. 40% off discount code. And normally it costs $89.99 on Amazon. But with this 40% discount code, you get them for $53.99. And that discount code is 40AIR5ALL. I'm going to say that one more time. 40A. A I R number five A L L. You put that in, I'm gonna put it in the description below, and you get 40% off. The other thing they're gonna be doing, Sound Pete US will be offering a 10% store wide discount during the upcoming Amazon Prime Big Deal Day. So I just wanna again say that and say thank you to Sound Pete for sending me a review unit so we can see how they. Are. Again, this is going to run you $89.99, but if you use the 40% discount code, you get 40% off, which would be $53.99. All right, guys, before we get into the Eagle Eye View, let's go ahead and get to some of the, the specs. Okay, this comes in four different colors, the beige, the black, the purple, and the white. Again, the beige, the black, the purple, and the white. They have um, 30 hours of playtime. They're also IPX5 waterproof and multi-point pairing let's see what else it has okay it has third generation qualcomm s3 audio audio platform it also comes with 13 millimeter composite bio diaphragm speakers it has aps lossless audio decoding high res gold label certification and qualcomm snapdragon sound certification as well they are bluetooth 5.4 qualcomm and i think that's all we need lightweight but yet powerful and comfortable to wear before we go into the eagle eye view do me a favor please like share and subscribe the more thumbs up we get the more you share all those things help me to get into the youtube deeper into the youtube algorithm so we can grow this unboxing community so please do like please share like and subscribe to the channel because because of my current and new and new current subscribers that we're able to do things like this because as the channel grow you know the more of these unboxings we can do so please do me a favor please like share and subscribe without further ado let's get into the eagle eye view we're in the eagle eye view and here how the package look guys well this is how it looks okay this is how everything look here your imagination all right so what we're going to be doing We'll be using this as our unboxing knife. I haven't used this in a while. Check that out. Look at that. Nice. So we're gonna go ahead and box it. Let's cut it open. Uh oh, let's see if we can get it done. Ah, there we go. Let me put this in the sheath so I won't cut myself. And here we go. Okay, we got that. Oh, I like the way that looks, guys. All right, before we bring it out, we got the paper and stuff it's stuck up in the top of the box. Let's see what we got here. Okay, we have our, you know, our quick setup guide here. Here we go. Okay, so you get the app and stuff like that. We have the user guide and we have some nice stickers. I would say trolling stickers, but you don't like it trolling too much. So I got some nice stickers. I'm gonna give this to my daughter. 
and she will probably place them all over the house. That's pretty good, guys. So please never throw away the user guide. All right, so we have, let me go take them out and see what else we have in the box. Okay, so I'm almost, but they didn't give us no plugs. Okay, we have plugs here. So over here, and we have, okay. All right, now, okay, there's nothing else in here. Let me sure. Okay, there's no ear tips in this one. Okay. I'm hoping I think it one size fit all. Okay, okay. Put this back. Make sure I'm I'm not missing nothing. No, okay, we have these. All right, we have USB A, USB C. Over here. Here go the earbuds. Let's get them out of here. I do, I do like the way that looks. Nice. Nice. Now, they're pretty light. Let's see. Let's open them up. And there you go. That's how they look. I like that. So, let's go. Nothing. See, that's how it looks. The page. You know, there's a button right here. And you, you see the green light right there. So this is how they look. I like the way they semi in the air. I like that. So let's look at the other sound piece that I have real quick to give a comparison. All right, here they go. Now you can see these are scratched up. I've been using these. So as you can see, I have been using these. So there you go. So now we're going to look at them. See, so now we can say that this one is a little, you know, taller, but, you know, and but this one's a little wider. Open them up. Now, I do like this design a little bit better because it's not see-through, you know, like that. And let's see. This is a little bit more heftier than this. So this is a little bit more heavier. So I like that. And then we can look at this. Let's see how they look compared to each other. Sorry, guys. I got right there. So they're about the same size. I think um, the beige ones are a little bit taller yeah they're a little bit taller than these right here the other sound piece so so far i do like the way they look and does you know similar in design got the both buttons got usb c all right guys we're gonna go ahead and give it a good way and see if these weigh a little bit more these or this way more than this and then from there we're gonna go ahead and give it a charge and then from the charge we're gonna go ahead and see how well it it um operate with the app because it does come with the app see if we can update the firmware if there's an update and then we'll go from there and to listen to some music making a call and give it a five give my final thoughts and give it a great right, guys so we have three earbuds the bluetooth earbuds we're going to be weighing today and we're going to start off with the samsung buds fan edition and you can see those are 51 Rams. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do the sound peak clear, which is 45. And we're gonna go ahead with the sound peaks air five, which is 45 grams. So you can see that the fan edition weighs more than these. So when they say these are light, they are light. I right, just get to the other things we got to do. Okay, here we go. Now I forgot to tell you this button right here is a reset button and a manual. If you have to manually um, get it to parent mode, you hit this for a long press and it will enter into manual parent mode. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna use the wire that came with it to give it a charge. See how it looks when it charges, we see that green light. That's how it looks when it charges up. So we also, we're gonna take this right here, got the Samsung here, move this out the way. Which is your know, adaptive fast charge, fast charge right there. And you see it's right there. Now, we'll show you what the colors mean. This is what the color means. So 100% to 70, I mean the 90 to 70%, 69 to 20% is yellow. And when it hits that red indication light, it will be 20% to 10% is gone. You have to go ahead and charge it, but as a 30, our playtime, so you shouldn't have too much problems with that. So that's what that is. So let's go ahead and get it um paired up. So I got my Pixel 8 Pro. I'm gonna go ahead and open this. You can see, see if it comes up. Sound peak. If I hit that, 
pairing. I'll say pair. And there it go. It's paired up. All right, everybody. We're going to go into the app. It's not this app. That's the old app. You want the one right here that says Pete's Audio. Go hit that. Well, now you see clear and we have Sound P Air 5. We're going to hit that. And as you see, it's looking for the device and it's going to come up. Boom. Now, normally when it comes up, it asks you what color you have. You pick the color you have, it'll, it'll lay it out with the color, same color that you have. So you see, I have beige, and it shows you that the right and left is full, and the case is full as well. And so you have noise cancellation and normal. You have air canal, and we're going to press with air canal right here. Choosing between different air canals to match the best listening experience. So you have one, two, you have all the way up to five. You have game mode. Disable touch and custom key. Okay. Then we also have EQ. Okay. You have the Sound P Classic, Bass Boost, Bass Reduce, and Treble. And then you got your, you can do some custom ones. You can name it. Do you have adaptive EQ? So there you go. So again, there you go right there, guys. And then, you know, so what we're going to do, we're going to see if there is hit home. Uh, let's see if there's a firmware update. And there is. So what we're going to do, we're going to download and upgrade. Be right back. All right. They have been fully up to see, fully updated. There we go. Back in business, guys. Everything still looks the same. So, why don't we go ahead, listen to some, make a call, then listen to some music. Okay, guys, we're back. And what we're going to do, we're going to listen, make a call, listen to some music. But before we do that, I want to let you know the, um, the actual active noise cancellation does work. Um, and what it does is, we turn on the noise cancellation, the AI inside the earpiece literally starts calculating the noise level and it starts off loud i thought it was just me but no it starts off loud. when you turn on it it's, it'll get loud and then what to do the ai starts analyzing and it brings the noise down so it does work and it works pretty well um i give the um noise cancellation uh a b it's a solid b it's not too aggressive um but i am going to ding it because i think it should have um ambient sound mode on here um, ambient sound mode is missing, but you know, other than that, the, um, um, the active noise cancellation really do work. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and make a call on here first. Then we're going to listen to some music. <clears throat> now this is supposed to have six microphones, um, three on each side. So it can really you know, get some clear calls. So let's see. I'm going to give a call real quick. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, let's try that one more time. Because I think I hung up on them. Yo, what's up? This is your boy, The Ghetto Og, for calling you on the sound piece. Um, Air 5s, how do I sound? Say I sound clear. If you had from 1 to 5, what would you put it at? He said, he said a five. Okay, so it sounds like you hear any, you know, can you hear anything in the back? I mean, I am in my office, but can you hear anything? You know, like, like, you know, that, that microphone dead, dead air noise in the back. No noise at all. All right, man. Well, thank you very much. And, um, you have a good, have a good day. All right. All right. So we got somebody that says it's a five. So let's call somebody else and see if we can see if it's still a five. What's up? This is your boy, the Ghettoographer. I am on the Soundpiece Air 5's 
given the call test, how do they sound? From one to five, what would you what would you rate it at? A five? Man, these things must be really sounding good. Well, look, thank you very much for participating, and you have a good day, bro. Okay, you heard what both of them said. They said they sound good, and both of those people that I called will tell you the absolute truth if they sound like some trash, but they said both of them gave them a five, so that's good, Sound Pete. That's good, because normally I don't like talking on earbuds. I normally talk with a um, microphone to my mouth because the truckers because most time when people are behind me if I'm doing Uber or Lyft they can they can hear but they said they sound really good so that's really good two live calls now one thing I had to figure out guys about this when you use the controls for the music that you have to go into the app and you have to redo the controls to the way you like them because the way they're default I do not like it. They, it. It's weird because they have um, the right ear skips track, but there's no previous track. So you literally have to go into the app and you have to um, hit um, custom key and you have to um, put it the way you want it. Okay. So this is um, right now, the way I have it set up is um, right ear, I mean, click left ear volume down, click right ear volume up, double click left ear for voice assistant, um, double click um, right ear for play and pause, triple click um, left ear, I mean, left ear for noise cancellation, triple click um, right ear for another voice assistant, I would put something else. I really, I don't play games. So I don't have a game mode on here. So you long press your left ear for previous and you long press your right ear for the next track. So we're going to go here before we listen to the music. We're going to make sure all that works. So let's go ahead and give it a whirl. Okay, now. Okay, now we're going to do uh, click right ear. Okay, that's okay. There we go. Okay, that does work. So we're gonna do we're gonna play. Um, we're gonna double click right ear, play and pause, and it stopped, and it start up again. We're gonna triple click left ear to make sure the noise cancellation comes on. Well, I, I double clicked it and the voice assistant so that works so let's um, triple click it says a and c on and it goes back to normal mode so that does work so everything works the way it's supposed to work that i have set up so i would tell you go on the app set it up the way you want it so because out of the box is kind of confusing the way they have it set up so please i thank you sound pete because you really thought about that, you know, so people can have, so that's good on you to, that you could do that through your app. So, um, let's go ahead and we're going to play some music and see how they sound. Now this is on normal. I haven't changed it. sounds really good guys they sound really good it sounds good so what i'm going to do guys i'm gonna put this um back here and i'm gonna put on just the just the sound be clear so see how they sound compared to them Mm -mm. 
Yeah, we're going to listen to the to this. And uh, the sound fleet clears don't have all of the bells and whistles that the Air 5s have. So let's see how they sound. All right, now I love the way the sound piece sound. I mean, the clear sound, the clear sound really good. Now they don't have all the bells and whistles that these does. So let's go ahead and pop these back in. And I like the, you know, power on before it comes, say connect. So they connect, let's go ahead and listen to it again. Sounds good, guys. They still sound good. All right, so I think these sound a little bit better than these. Now, one thing about the clear, they do come with the the tips that you could change, so they fit a little snug in your ear. Um, so I will give that over them. But as far as the music, I think these sound a little bit better than these so what we're going to do we're going to go ahead and see how these do against these because these are about i call these um mid-range and these are mid-range so let's go ahead and see again everything is on what it should be on Sound good. Now, you know, I love me some um my Samsung's fan edition. Let me make sure that it's set to where it needs to be set at. Make sure it didn't go back. So, nope, everything is set the way it needs to be set. Let's go ahead, play it again. Okay, now, you know, I love my my Samsung fan dish. All right, let's see. Let's test these out one more time. Try a different genre real quick. All right, now let's go on to this one more time. They sound good. They really do sound good, guys.
Guys, they sound really good. Um, I think the bass is a little too high. Um, okay, now I know the difference, guys. Um, the sound piece sound really good. They do. Um, they sound really good. I'm just trying to hear the difference. All right, guys. They sound good. Now, go ahead and let you know that Yes, these sounds a little bit better than these right here. Put them over here. Now, from the FE to the sound, I say they sound similar. The only thing is the Samsung FE's fan edition is a little clearer when it comes in the mids and the highs. Um, you can hear it clearer in the background. These, you can still hear them. They're a little bit bass heavy, and you could turn down the bass, you know, but... They come in bass heavy. And again, I'm not no audio file here, but I'm just telling you what I hear. They are a little bit bass, bass heavy than these, and they were a little bit more bass heavy than the clears. But overall, it sounds really good for mid-range um, headset. They do hit neck and neck with the Samsung FE. Hey, guys, this is what I think about the sound peak. Air files. I think they are a very good product. Now, trying to do it a different way so you can understand. Um, I'm gonna give each um, category a score. So, starting off with the ANC, um, one out of five. I give it a. I give it a four. I think the ANC is, is 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 very is decent. I mean, not decent, above decent. It's good. The ANC is good. It's not too aggressive, but what I don't like about it is that it takes a minute for the AI to kick in to bring down the noise. Because when I turned it on, it got loud for a second. I'm like, oh, it got loud. Then it started bringing the noise all the way down, and then it canceled out the noise. So it works, but it might you have to give it a couple of seconds. So I give it a four. Call quality, I'm going to give it a five. You heard what they said. They said, I said one out of five. Both people said five, so I'm going to give it a five. Um, they sound good to me on my end. They start sound good on their end. The app, I'm going to give it a five. I'm going to give it a five because the app is actually, I really do like that, but some of the features that it have. Um, and I don't know if this was meant to be the hard of hearing mode. I'm going to take just one of these out and just see if, so I can, so I can make sure I got my words right. So, give me one second. Um, I do like it because the ear canal. Now, the ear canal, like I said, trying to choose between different ear canals much uh, to match the listening experience. Now, I'm going to tell you, for me, it made things louder. So, say if you're hard of hearing, you could click, kick, click one of these ear canals, goes from one to five, and it makes things louder. So, yeah, I think it's, I don't know if it was meant for that, but, you know, because I'm hard of hearing. So, I like that. I like that part of the app. It, it upgraded the firmware. Um, you have your different presets, the classic, the beat, the beat boost, the bass boost, I'm sorry, the triple boost, and it has um, the bass reduction. So I think the app, I give the app a five because as long as it gives you functionality and allows you to also to change your custom keys. So it allows you to change everything so it can fit the way you want to listen to it, the way you want to operate it. I do like that. Um, as far as the fit, I'm going to give it a four, uh, uh, a four out of five. And the reason why I'm going to give it a four is because I believe it should have had the gel tip so it could create a seal. Um, I believe when you get your ear sweating and you start you know, moving around in the gym that th they're going to slide out. So I think they should have came with the gel tips um, so that we have a better fit, a better seal. Um, so when you put in, you don't have to, you know, kind of adjust. You put them in. And like what I said with the um, with the 
the peak clears, they did, they do have those. So these are more like the iPods. So if you like the iPods, you're going to like them. But I give the fit a four out of five. Now, I give the music a four out of five. It sounds good, guys. It really does sound good. The things is the mids, I think the, the, the highs and lows in the mids, they're kind of um, not as clear as they were on my um Samsung Fan Edition, last year Fan Edition um earbuds. They were a little bit more clear in the in the high the, the um the main vocal sound good. The bass now there's a lot of bass on here, so you can hit bass reduction and get it to a place where you like it. Um, some people love the bass to boom. Um there was a little bit too much bass. So I'm gonna give it a four out of five because they sound good to me, to my ears. And the price, I'm gonna give it a five. It's under $100, and with this economy the way it is, you know, can't beat the price. The price is $89.99, you know, off sale. If you catch it on sale or you use the promo code that's going to be in the description, you get it for $53.99. So all together, what do I give it? I give it a B plus. I give it a B plus, guys. I think um, they're worth the money. I think um, the... You know, it looks good now. You know, it's not going to be, you know, they look good. It ain't going to be metal or nothing like that. They look good. It opens and closes. It has that satisfying. See here, look. It has that satisfying snap to it. So I do like that. So I'm going to give it a B plus, guys. Yet again, this is your boy, the Ghetto Ogifer, a.k.a. Pastor Tech, thanking you for rocking out with me on another unboxing video. Guys, go ahead and get you... This right here gives you a pair of the Sal Pete Air 5. You won't regret it. Good. I think it's, it's worth the 80, the 89.99, or you can use the, the code and get it for 53.99. Sure, Troy. Use the code. You have a good day. See you on another unboxing soon.